Okay, I'm going to have to use my glasses for this one. Uh, today is Sunday, January 27th, 2013 AD. See, I said it, 2013, not 2012, 2013. And uh, I'm Randall Roof, and in this video, I'm going to talk about the Oscars, or the Academy Awards, as you may call it. Uh, it's being held live, or it's scheduled to be held live uh, Sunday, February 24th. And I'm going to go through, <clears throat> as you can see on the screen, there's a list of Best Picture nominees. I'm going to go through my entire list of the ones I think are going to win and why. Now, having said that, I have seen none of these movies. I haven't seen a single movie. Although, I, I do keep very current on the trailers. <laughs> so, based on the trailers and what I think it's going to do, I'm going to go over them. Okay, first of all, the top movie choices are Les Miserables, Lincoln, and Zero Dark Thirty. Those are my three top choices. And I think Les Miserables is going to get it. Um, the best movie. Or it could be Lincoln. I'm not really sure. My first, my first bet is Les Miserables, second Lincoln, and Zero Dark Thirty is my third choice. Um... You know, it's really a toss-up between Les Miserables and Lincoln and Lincoln because you've got a documentary about Lincoln and it's very well done by Spielberg and then you have a musical it's very well done. And uh, it's, it's hard. Uh, it's it's a really hard toss-up. So, but I am going to go with Les Miserables over Lincoln by that much <clears throat> for the best picture on me. Now, let's go down to some of these categories. Actor in a leading role. Actor in a leading role. You can, and right here you can, you can read the... Uh, Bradley Cooper, Daniel Day-Lewis, Hugh Jackman, Joaquin Phoenix, Denzel Washington. And I'm going to give it to Hugh Jackman for Les Miserables. Um, again, I think Daniel Day-Lewis may come in second for Lincoln. But again, there's no second. <laughs> Actress in a leading role. Uh, I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with Naomi Watts for The Impossible. Actor in a supporting role. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, Tommy Lee Jones for Lincoln. I've been a big fan of Tommy Lee Jones for some time, and I, I kind of hope he gets it. Uh, actress in a supporting role. I think that's I think that's one of the big ones that's really... I, if Anne Hathaway doesn't get that, I'll be very surprised. I think she's going to get it. Um... Uh, animated, best animated feature film, Brave, uh, Frankie Weenie, Paranorman, The Pirate, Band of Misfits, <laughs> Wreck-It Ralph. I think Brave is going to get it. Um, I'd say Brave is going to get it. It's a Disney uh, film, so it's... Um, let's go to directing. Uh, uh, I think Spielberg's going to get it for Lincoln. I mean, that's, I think that's... I could be wrong. But I think that's pretty much a given. Lincoln for Spiel or Spielberg will win for Lincoln. Documentary feature. Uh, now again, this is this is one of those things where I haven't even seen the previews for most of these films. Um, five broken cameras. How to survive play? Invisible. In fact, the only one I've even heard of is the Invisible War. I'm not even be honest right now. At the top of my head, I'm not even familiar with it. No, I'm not familiar with what it's. I'm not, I couldn't tell you what it was about. So, I'm going to leave that one blank. Because it's... But if, I, but if I have to give one, I would say The Invisible War. Because that's the only one I've even heard of. Documentary short subject. It would be, again, I haven't heard of any of these. Uh, so I'd really leave that one blank to film editing. Uh... That could go to Life of Pi, Lincoln, or Zero Dark Thirty. Uh, that's a, that's a kind of a toss-up when it comes to film editing because um, Life of Pi had some really neat, from what I've seen again, it's just the trailers and some of the stuff I've seen on TV and you know the promotions for it. But Life of Pi, uh, Lincoln, or Zero Dark Thirty. Um, that's what I'm guessing. Okay. Foreign language film. I haven't heard of any of those. So 
I can't really say anything. Uh, short film, Adam and Doug, Fresh Guacamole, Head Over Heels, Maggie Simpson, <laughs> Paper Man. I'm not going to uh, know those. I haven't seen any of those. Short film, uh, again, I haven't seen any of those. Sound editing, Skyfall may get that one. That might go to Skyfall. Zero Dark Thirty, it might go to Life of Pi. Uh, my prediction: Life of Pi. Sound mixing, um, uh, uh, probably Les Misérables. I'm gonna. I think that's pretty much a given again. Visual effects. Ooh, no, the Avengers. That's something you don't really, really see a whole lot. Is the Avengers with um, comic books being in for visual, but it is for visual effects. So I can see that. I can see The Hobbit, Life of Pi, Prometheus. I have seen Prometheus. That, uh, that one I have seen. Um, I bet it goes to Life of Pi with the Marvels being second. That's uh, Life of Pi. I think it's going to get it. Uh, writing. Lincoln, I think that's given the Lincoln running original screenplay. Probably Zero Deck 30. Okay, let's see where we left off over here. Um, costume design. Les Miserables, I think he's going to get it. Cinematography. Uh, maybe Life of Pi. Maybe Lincoln. Maybe Anna Karina. Um. I'm gonna have to say Life of Pi on that one too. Okay, we've already been there. Uh, for the, okay, we're Makeup, Hitchcock, the Hub. Ooh, that's a tough one. Hitchcock had some good old timey stuff. Uh, the Hobbit. But see, that's, ooh, that's with makeup. Those are all three good makeup films. As far as, you know, the way they look, the people wearing the makeup and stuff. So that's, that's really a hard one. I'm gonna have to go with, um, Wow, that's maybe since it's not nominated for anything else, I, I bet it might Hitchcock might have a chance. But either three of those would be, you know, gosh, that's kind of hard to decide. To be honest, I bet it goes to Hitchcock. I mean, either one, of, either three of them would be good. Music, original score. Um, of course, everybody wants John Williams to win because he did Star Wars. He did Star Wars, so you want him to win for Lincoln. <laughs> uh, um, but uh, I don't even know who these other people are. I don't know. I mean, like I said, can't hope John Williams wins because he's all the best. But um, I hate to say you want the other guys to win because they're not the best. Um, let them have a chance, but I don't know. I, I hope John Williams gets it. That's my prediction. Who actually gets that one? I don't know. But I'm, I'm going for John Williams. Music, original song. Uh, I'm going to go with Suddenly uh, from Les Mis Raw. I'm just, any, any of the songs, uh, I just, I think it's going to do. Um, let's see, did we go over screenplay? Did we ever say that? Yeah, let's go Zero Dark Thirty, writing adapted screenplay. Lincoln, yeah, we write in visual effects. So that is a wrap up of my Academy Award thoughts on the Oscars, hosted by Seth MacFarlane live Sunday, February 24th, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific on ABC and it's Oscars.com for all the news and updates. So until next time, I'm Ralph Moose saying thanks for watching, have a good day, and may God bless you. Here's what I think about the Oscars 2013, based on the 2012 movies. Actually, there are previews I see. I actually seen the movies, except for Prometheus. I did see that. Bye. <laughs>